What's up everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office and today we're gonna to be looking at some CPU mining content. So you guessed it, it's no surprise. We're gonna be looking at Raptorium on my 5800X here. So uh, this is my gaming computer. We'll start by going over the specs of this baby and then afterwards we'll jump onto the computer and we'll get into how to mine it, what are the hash rates for this 5800X and what are the returns as of now? So I built this PC at the beginning of the summer. Uh, this is not the original GPU I had in it. I had this 3070 over here, so I'll show you the white one. This was an all white build and it's because I got it in a combo. So these are the components of interest. The motherboard I have is the B550 Vision DP. So it's a pretty recent motherboard. I mean, there's nothing to write home about really on this motherboard. I think it has Wi-Fi, which is cool, but listen, I always have it plugged in with ethernet and it doesn't have too many PCIe slots. Let me show you that actually. So I have one plugged in for the GPU and there are only two other PCIe slots. So at max, you could support three cards natively. And I mean, unless you wanna use like a PCIe splitter or something like that. But yeah, at the end of the day, you're just using this to house the CPU. So enough about the motherboard. Let's get on to the juicy stuff here. And this again is my Ryzen CPU. It's the 5000 series 5800X. It has eight cores and 16 threads. So that's what we're using to mine Raptorium. Ryzen CPUs are super efficient compared to the Intel CPUs when mining Raptorium. So I'm happy about that because I'm quite power limited here. And honestly, the Ryzen CPUs right now are the way to go. What I have in terms of a cooling solution for it is a Corsair ICUE H100i. So this is a RGB one. Uh, the only reason I actually got this is because I found it brand new, but locally on Marketplace here. So I picked that up to complement the combo I got. I think I only paid 100 Canadian dollars for it. So pretty good deal. And yeah, so no temperature problems whatsoever using this AIO. Really happy with it so far. The last component that's gonna be crucial for your CPU mining, see what I did there? Is gonna be your RAM. So I've got some crucial ballistics gaming memory here. I have two 16 gig kits. It's 3600 megahertz and CL16. So uh, yeah, let me show you that. And like I said before, I went for the white color just to complement the case. Uh, for those wondering, this is the 4000D airflow case. Uh, the airflow case has the open grill in the front, which I really like. And these are also some Corsair fans. I just have the RGB controller turned off right now. So yeah, that's it for the build, guys. I'm not gonna spend any more time on that. Now you know the specs, and we are gonna jump on to this computer, and I'm gonna show you basically the wallet, uh, setting up the miner, and then choosing a pool. As always guys, all the links you'll need to follow along are gonna be in the video description, so check those out if you need to. The first thing you're gonna need is gonna be a wallet to store that precious Raptorium once you mine it. So if you go to downloads, there's gonna be the wallet here. If you click on that, that's gonna bring you over to the release here for the Raptorium wallet. So I'm currently using the 1.15.2 version because that's the one that was released when I started mining. However, the latest is 1.15.3. So I recommend you either pick up the Windows 64 zip or Windows 64 setup.exe. I just went for the exe, but feel free to pick whichever one you want. Again, I'm doing this on Windows. If you're doing it on Linux, you're gonna wanna take a different zip file here. Another option for your wallet is going to be Zellcore. I know this is really popular and I think most people use this. Um, I wasn't really aware of this wallet when I started mining, so that's why I just use the Raptorium Core wallet. If I were to start over again, I think I would probably take the Zellcore one. The UI is a lot nicer. I think it's a little more user friendly. I know Rabid Mining has dropped a video on this. He's a great reference for everything Raptorium. And if you want to know how to set up the Zellcore wallet, uh, he has videos on that for sure. So I'll link to his channel. For now, we're just gonna focus on the main Raptorium wallet, okay? The Raptorium core wallet. Once you go through the setup for the wallet, it's gonna be straightforward, okay? This is what it's gonna look like here. You can see I've mined a grand total of 2,517 Raptorium. And what you're gonna want here before moving forward is getting your Raptorium address so you can make sure that when you start mining, you're getting paid out to your Raptorium address, okay? So to do that, you're gonna wanna go to receive. Here you can see I've labeled mine Nick's RTM wallet. And if you double click on that, you'll be able to access your wallet. If you want to create a new Raptorium address, all you have to do is put in the label. That's basically the name. So I'm going to call it mining office. 
and then you're good to hit request payment. You can put a message here, I leave the amount blank, and then again, just hit request payment. You'll see it'll open up a little window like this, so you can either just copy your address, which will be here, or you can hit the copy address button at the bottom, and it'll copy it to your clipboard. So from here, you're ready to go, and with that address, we're good to download the Raptorium miners and get mining. Also, I'm going to recommend you back up your wallet. Again, I'm going to reference Rabbit Mining. He has a video showing you how to do that. But if not, just go back up wallet and back it up somewhere on a USB key or something. So in case something happens to your computer, you can access the funds you're mining here. For the miners, guys, you basically have two options. All right. The first miner to come out with the Ghostwriter algorithm, which is what Raptorium uses, is the CPU miner GR. All right. This is by Wyvern TKC. And there are a few things you have to know about this one. So the dev fees are pretty high. I think they're 1.75% or something like that on the 1.2 versions. All right. So for that reason, I don't even use a 1.2 version because from my understanding, uh, there we go. It's written here. This or these versions, the 1.2 versions are better for Alder Lake Intel CPUs. And that's where you really get the performance gain. I've actually tested both. So I started with a 1.2 version. And when I reverted to a 1.9 version, I got the same hash rate. So there are no, no improvements for me. If I scroll down here, you might ask, why would you use an older version? You're gonna to wanna to use this version here, 1.1.9, because on this version, the dev fee is lower. I believe it's 1.25%. Now, correct me, I'm really just pulling that out of my head. I, I haven't checked it. So if you're using Ryzen CPU, uh, I think you should just be using this. The other option is XM rig. This is really recent. Here you can see Ghostwriter Algorithm Raptorium. So it's supported in the latest version that released two days ago. I'm not gonna cover it here because again, this video is gonna be way too long. Maybe I'll cover it in another video and compare the hash rates I'm getting between both. I think that would be interesting. But for now, we'll leave it on the side. I'm just presenting those two options for you. So pick whichever one you want. The dev fee is lower on XM rig, okay? So make your decision also based on that. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use version 1.2.4 because they changed how you configure it between 1.2 versions and 1.1 versions. So let's say your tune config file from 1.1 cannot be used on 1.2, you're gonna have to retune. So anyway, we're gonna use the latest because I'm assuming they will drop the dev fees pretty soon to compete with XMRig that's now been released. So yeah, go ahead and download in the assets here, windows.7zip. And the next step before we configure everything and start mining is gonna be choosing a pool. So. The top three pools I would recommend you guys choose out of, unless you're in France where you can use Supernova, uh, is I would recommend either using Flock Pool, maybe R Plant because there's a whole controversy with that. I won't even get into it, but it's one of the larger pools. Maybe I, I shouldn't say I recommend it, but maybe consider it. And the other one is 011 Data Pool. I know that's the one Rabbit Mining is involved with. Uh, I'm just going to say personally, I've tried all three pools. It's slightly hard to evaluate because while I was testing these out, the network difficulty was increasing like crazy. So it's kind of hard to evaluate. You're not comparing apples to apples. Unfortunately, I think I like flock pool the most. Now you can see they have 77.6% of the known hash rate, which is not necessarily a good thing, but with the way master nodes and all that works, it's not like super risky in terms of a 51% attack. So I won't get into those details. Uh, I'm going to go with flock pool just for this setup. Just click on that and you'll get the link to flock pool. Once you get on the flock pool site, it's very simple. You're going to need to select your region, but based on your ping, it should select it automatically. For me, you can see here it's USA central. If we go down, you're going to want to use the secure SSL port. No reason not to. And then you can fill out this information here. You can see it has it nicely all printed out for the CPU minor GR already pre-configured. So I just put in my RTM wallet address as a placeholder. 5800x as the worker and password just one two three four five six we can just copy paste this if we want into the uh, config file so we'll get to that open up what you downloaded and keep this handy you can look at the readme.txt if you want any extra information and then go ahead and edit the config.json here that's what you're going to need to modify to get up and running so edit that all right so the config.json should look something like this very simple you're going to paste in here the URL and the port. The backup server, you can basically leave to what it is. Here you're gonna have your Raptorium address and your worker, and then you're good to go. Uh, you can set this tune full here to true the first time. I recommend you do it. It's gonna take quite a long time for it to tune, a few hours, but afterwards you should be getting peak performance. So turn that on the first time, and afterwards you're pretty much good to go. We can start running the miner. I forgot to mention, 
like any other miner, you want to run this in administrator mode, all right? And then you can see, look, after your tuning is done, it'll say tune config loaded successfully. You'll have the huge pages set up successfully and MSR set up successfully. After that, you should see it connect to the pool and you'll start accepting shares. So we've been mining for a little bit. You can see that it stabilizes around 2,220 hashes per second uh, on my 5800X. So in general, I see it go around 2200 to 2300 around that range so i think even though i didn't let the miner run that long this is pretty representative from my experience i also want to mention that i am gpu mining at the same time on this computer i didn't reduce the amount of cores i'm cpu mining on or anything and my performance is not affected on either the cpu miner or the the gpu I, i'm mining eth on my 3060 ti that's in this computer and i don't see any performance issues running both in parallel so again that's another good thing if you go to the Flypool website and you plug in your address for Raptorium, you'll be greeted with this UI that shows you basically your hash rate, and this is where you'll be able to change your payout. So if we look at my hash rate, you'll see it's only 1.92 kilohash, and the reason that is is because you can see here on the graph, I had it off a few times. So when I'm gaming on this computer or you know editing or doing some stuff like that, uh, obviously the miner will not be running. That lowers my hash rate. But like I'm telling you guys, it gets about 2.2 kilohash. If you want to change your payouts, you can see here in your balance, you just click on change. And afterwards, you can set your minimum payout for Aptorium and you enter that password that you put in your miner. Just make sure you've, you've had your miner running at least 30 minutes. Uh, it says it here so that this will be detected properly when you put in your password. Uh, it'll validate with your miner that that is the password and it'll change your payouts. I think now the only thing left to do is really check out the profitability of this 5800X. If we get onto profitability, there's this really cool site called miningraptorium.com. If you go here, you'll be able to select your currency. I left it in USD just for you guys. And you, you can select your CPU and it'll give you a rough estimate here. So I took the Ryzen 7 5800X, that's the CPU I have. And if you go down here, it'll give you a profitability or estimated profitability. You can see here, it's telling me the hash rate should be 2,111. So I see about a hundred more hashes per second than their average, which is good, but we'll just use their numbers for this. You can see that the estimated RTM per day is going to be 27 Raptorium. At the current price, that's a daily return of 1.27 USD. So that's probably around a dollar and a half Canadian. And with my electricity costs being $0.09 per kilowatt hour. And again, that's in Canadian, so it's not quite representative, but whatever. And the TDP of this CPU is 105 watts. I don't know exactly the power consumption. I'm not doing any overclocks or anything like that. So I'll just use the full TDP uh, for argument's sake, all right? And you can see that the estimated profits right now are $1.04 USD per day. So that's really quite impressive. I'm happy with that. And considering that I already had all of this equipment beforehand i didn't purchase any of this i'm just putting what i already had to work i'll take a free dollar per day so really happy about that i hope you guys enjoyed this video on raptorium mining it's the first time i cover it if you did enjoy it please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel i try and bring you guys the best crypto mining content possible stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time peace out